Hi everyone. Um, if you watch my blog, you've seen that I made this card the other day and it has this giant felt flower on it. And uh, the felt creations you buy can be a little pricey. So I'm going to show you how you can make your own. So if you have a big shot, you just need some of the flower dies. I have several. I have uh, Blossom Party, which is the one I'm going to use in the tutorial today. But there are any number of flower um, die cuts. I have uh, flower layers I've used. I've used uh, flower layers number two, which is this great daisy one the one I used on the card. Now you do have to be careful. See this one I lost two of the petals when I uh, wasn't careful about removing it because it, they are a little bit fragile especially where they have like the thin um, connector to the center there. You can die cut butterflies. You can use these to trim your butterflies or the centers of your flowers. You can layer them. Look at this. Isn't this cute? You could stitch it. You could put a little button in the center. Anyway, I'm going to just put my camera up here on the tripod and I will show you how to run it through the big shot. Okay, I've got my camera set up on the tripod now. Um, getting back to this flower, like when you layer it, you just take your crocodile and punch a small hole in the center. And they're flexible. Sorry, I was off camera. They're flexible because they're fabric. And then you could put one of these brads in the center. Silver brad. Um, you can even do your own stitching. You can do it on the sew machine. Or you can hand sew it to add some detail. Um, again, you could put buttons in. Hmm. I mean, how cute and fast and not expensive at all. Like, um, you can see, just a second, I'll show you here just some of the colors that these wonderful die cuts come in. Uh, not die cut. I'm sorry. Felt. Come, look at this rainbow of color that you can get the felt in. And so they come in, you can get it by the meter or you can get it, they're already cut in like eight and a half by eleven rectangles. Anyway, so here's my big shot with the die on it. I just have one of the clear cutting mats on the bottom. Take your piece of felt and you lay it over the die to cover it. It's oh, you don't have to cut it to fit because this excess where it's um, a fabric will go through. I usually move it to the opposite side where the bulk is. And then you put the second cutting mat. Can you see how much cutting I do? My mat is so cut up. And then you just roll it through the machine and see how it's bunching there, but it's okay, it's not hurting a thing. And there you go, and you just pull it out through the other end. My mat, look how warped my mat is. <laughs> and then you just gently pull out your pieces. Look at these, aren't they great? And that is how easy it is. How easy and inexpensive. And I hope you had fun. You can do this for hearts and brackets and butterflies basically any of your die cut shapes and I haven't tried the sizzlets but I'm pretty sure it will work for the sizzlets too because they're not very the fabric is not very thick so I hope you enjoyed okay, here's you. some of the combinations I came up with the uh, from just the few that I cut while I was doing the tutorial this is my favorite it uses the great big flower and then I've used another layer and another layer and then I'm a button in the center and I'm just going to sew it on if I can try and do that on camera. Oh, 
thing about felt, see, it goes right through. So you've got to be careful and then loop it on the bottom through the thread like this. And then you can continue sewing the button on. Now this is an interesting thing, trying to sew while being on the camera. Because the tripod is in front of me and the flower and needle are in front of that. So <laughs> I'm not sure how good I'm doing here. But anyway, just a few stitches to hold it together. And of course, however you want to knot it off on the back. Okay, I don't have scissors, <laughs> but I have my nail clippers here, so I'll just trim it like that. So, how cute is that one? Look at that. Isn't that adorable? And wouldn't that look great on a card or on a scrapbooking page? <clears throat> This one, um, I had a brad in. I'm going to put in a brad in it and leave it there because I think it looks cute with the brad in it. The nice silver brad. Let's see, my layers are a little crooked. Just get it where you want it. And there you go. So there's two, two pretty flowers. Now, uh, then the next thing you can do, you can um, just glossy accent some layers together. Okay. And now. Um, I think I'll get a gem for in the center. Just hold on really quick. Got some beautiful gems here. And we'll just have a little glossy accent in the center. Put the gem in the center. Look how pretty. And can't you just see these on, car like, any of your creations? I mean, how pretty. Scrapbook pages, cards. And these are, t these. I mean, this is taking me almost no time to do. A little bit longer because I'm working around the camera, but really not long at all. A uh, little teeny tiny silver brad. Yeah, let's put that on this one. Now, um... My crocodile may put too big a hole, so you could actually just punch the hole. I'm going to try with the brad because the fabric is so fragile, you can just push it right through. Look at that. See? And there's your brad on the other side. Oh, sorry, got off camera a bit again. And look! Look, there it is! So cute! Um, this one, what do I want to do for this one? Anyway, I think you're getting the idea. I hope you're getting the idea. I hope you're seeing how easy it is. And I hope you enjoy making some fabulous fun felt, flowers, or whatever for your projects. Thank you. Please leave comments. Everybody loves comments, including me. Thank you.